good afternoon friends we are going to discuss about the anatomy of head and neck today for the next 3 or 4 hours right so now we will start with the parotid gland right you, you will be knowing the location of the parotid gland the parotid gland is located just behind the ramus of the mandible in front below and behind the lobule of the ear so it is called as parotid gland para means around and aortic refers to ear so it is called as parotid gland you will be knowing the parotid gland is one of the three paired salivary major salivary glands and actually the parotid gland is the largest paired major salivary gland right so you are able to see just in front of the okay this is the outline of the parotid gland right so this is the outline of the parotid gland in the upper part you are able to see the base of the parotid gland and this is the lower part which is called as apex of the parotid gland this is the anterior border of the parotid gland you are able to see the parotid duct emerging from the anterior border of the parotid gland right so the parotid duct emerges from the anterior border of the parotid gland right so coming to the parotid capsule or parotid sheath the parotid gland is covered by two layers of the parotid capsule that parotid sheath or parotid capsule is derived from the investing layer of deep cervical fascia so the investing layer of deep cervical fascia splits to enclose the parotid gland in front as well as behind by forming the two layers called as superficial lamina and deep superficial lamina and deep lamina of the parotid gland the superficial lamina of the parotid gland otherwise it is a, called as parotido masseteric fascia and finally it will be getting attached above to the zygomatic arch and the deep lamina of the parotid fascia is moving behind the parotid gland deep to the parotid gland finally it will be getting attached to the tympanic plate of temporal bone as well as styloid process of the temporal bone and the deep lamina of the parotid fascia is thickened which is extending from styloid process to the angle of mandible to form the so called stylomandibular ligament so i want you to remember the parotido masseteric fascia is the superficial lamina of the parotid fascia and the stylomandibular ligament is the deep layer of the parotid fascia right and the parotid fascia is derived from the investing layer of deep cervical fascia so the deep cervical fascia means the deep fascia of the neck cervical refers to neck right so the deep cervical fascia will be having uh, three layers from superficial to deep the three layers of the deep cervical fascia are investing layer pre tracheal layer and pre vertebral layer right so this diagram is again showing the same parotid capsule i want you to remember the three structures uh, traversing the parotid gland so are you able to see within the parotid gland the three structures retromandibular vein facial nerve and the external carotid artery so this one is facial nerve this one is retromandibular vein and this one is so these are the three structures facial nerve retromandibular vein and the external carotid artery the three structures traversing the parotid gland right so the facial nerve after entering into the parotid gland it will be dividing into five terminal branches right as you are able to see in this diagram this is the facial nerve dividing into five terminal branches within the parotid gland and the, all these five terminal branches are going to supply all the muscles of the facial expression right so the five terminal branches of the facial nerve are from above downwards temporal this one is temporal nerve this one is zygomatic nerve this one is buccal nerve and this one is marginal mandibular nerve and this one is cervical branch of facial nerve so these are the five terminal branches of facial nerve emerging from the parotid gland from above downwards the five terminal branches are temporal zygomatic buccal marginal mandibular and cervical branch i want you to remember the cervical branch of facial nerve enters into the neck and supplies only one muscle that is platysma so the platysma is a subcutaneous muscle or superficial muscle of the neck supplied by the cervical branch of facial nerve right so in this diagram uh, already we have discussed about the three contents of the parotid gland three structures traversing the parotid gland from superficial to deep the three structures passing are nerve vein and the artery the nerve is facial nerve vein is retromandibular vein retromandibular vein and the artery is external carotid artery right so these are the three structures traversing the parotid gland right coming to the parotid duct the another name for the parotid duct is tensens duct you will be knowing la the parotid duct is otherwise called as tensens duct so this is the parotid gland from the anterior border of parotid gland this is the parotid duct emerging and this is the masseter muscle which is located just in front of